Northampton. Welcome to the Northampton Commission on Disabilities. This meeting is being audio taped and videotaped. And now we will um, have the introduction of members. We'll go around and, and see who's here. Sure. Patty Shaughnessy. City Councilor Marianne Labarge. Uh, Roy C. Martin, member. Deborah K. Anthony, Academy of Music. Daniel Ruth McGrath, Secretary. Susan McCreary, Vice Chair. Tori Applin, Chair. And now we also have Cynthia. Finish you back, member. Oh, thanks, Cindy. Okay. Yeah. Sitting up in the corner. Yeah, I guess there's someone here from the public, too. Yeah, we're okay. 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 She should be on the agenda. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we will, um, we have the approval of the May 21st minutes. Does anyone have any um, comments or corrections? I'm sorry, you were looking for public comment? Oh, no, I'm no. sorry. I thought we were doing approval of minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah. I moved to approve the minutes of um, May 21st. Actually, I had a. Um, uh, well, then you should do it. I had a correction. I'm just trying to. Um, I'm trying to find it. Okay. So let me just take one. One um, second. Okay. So um, I I just had a minor correction in the paragraph that was describing. Um, when Jamie Parent came, it said um, that their unit invest they investigate and prosecute cases where elders and persons with disabilities are victims in crimes, mm -hmm. and it should be victims of crimes. Of crimes. Okay. 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 Um, but isn't that what she said? It's just a typo. It's, it's what she said, but it doesn't matter because I didn't make it a direct quote, so. So you put that in. So I'll, I'll change it, yeah. Okay. Um, does anyone else have any corrections? I just got to find it. Hey, Patty. Yes. Um, a suggestion. Because you send these out to us to read. And, like, you know, we go to approve these minutes. Is there any way that anybody could contact you to say, I have an amendment to make because you did make them out today with some changes that I requested? Mm -hmm. So same with Tori or anybody else. And that way, we just go right through them. We know that the amendments have been corrected. OK, so mm -hmm. what I'll say is that all, is all well and good as long as I have the minutes in advance. So that there's time to do that, mm -hmm. and and I did send those out to people on Father's Day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I do apologize yes. for sending those on a holiday, but mm -hmm. I had a so very short window to do that. Yeah. So um, you know, Ruth, you and I can talk about the minutes and what a sequence can be, so that yeah, I, I have to follow up when I mail them to you. I have to follow up to make sure you get them because I did them back the weekend after our last meeting. But then my mother came, and I forgot to follow up and make sure you got them, and okay. so. All right. So henceforth, we'll. So we'll if be, she makes them out, you'll get them. Can you send them to me? Yes. Yeah. Appreciate so that. yeah. So that that's not just on, on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. That would be that's a good yeah, idea. That's fine. Actually, that's fine. So what was the idea there? Well, because he, what happens is I get the minutes and I go through to make, you know, grammatical corrections or right. whatever. Mm -hmm. And then what typically happens is I send them out and then I may hear from one or two people. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I'm not changing the context of what's being said. It's just like that particular thing that you had. I don't even know if I would have caught that. Um, so it's, exactly. it's, it's just doing mm -hmm. that before... It's sent out to everybody, and then now it's in, let's say there's a number of issues with it. I don't have to say, oh, here's another revised copy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so yeah. you would send them to... Well, yeah. I would think I could send them to Marianne, to you. To me. And mm -hmm. maybe even Susan as right. the vice chair. Mm -hmm. And it would be important if you were at the meeting to know, mm -hmm. you know, to get those mm -hmm. to make any comments. Let's say that's right. what I did with yeah. Mary Medora today because that's our a good minutes... Idea. At City Council, I found an error. Yeah. We changed it immediately today before she put it on the agenda. So that way the council mm -hmm. will see it 
Yeah. We don't have to do any amendments on the floor. I think that's um, it's a great idea. That's smart. Mm -hmm. And then, so. and then that way, you know, because there are many people here who get the minutes by email, but mm -hmm. there are some people who don't have emails, so right. mm -hmm. they need to have um, those in their hands. So maybe it's like setting up. <laughs> excuse me. I get the minutes from Ruth. I send them to the three of you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then there's comments, and then there's mm -hmm. plenty of time. To be able to get them out to the members who um, get yeah. them through the mail. Good idea. Perfect. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, moving on, um, we have Deborah back from the Academy of Music. Thank you for coming um, back. Yes. Thank, Thank you for you. having me back. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're eager to hear from you what you yeah. have to tell us. So um, again, uh, thank you for. Um, encouraging me to look into some possibilities um, for uh, um, accommodating um, those with disabilities. I, this, this, ta this past month, I looked into audio descriptors mm. for stage. And um, audio descriptors, from what I, what I found out, are relatively new. Um, and they are at present um, happening in cities, um, mm -hmm. with cities that and larger institutions. In Massachusetts, um, audio descriptors are used at the uh, American Repertory Theater on Harvard campus, mm -hmm. at the Wang and Schubert Theaters, mm -hmm. um, at the Huntington, and the Wheelock. Those are, those are very large venues, and I'm imagining that they share resources. The reason that um, audio descriptors... an audio descriptor. Okay, yes, thank you. I'll back up. An audio descriptor is actually a person that goes, that is trained. There's training that occurs, and there are several uh, training areas, one in D.C., and sometimes they have them in New York, and then you go and you are trained as, as a person would be in sign language. So they learn how to describe the scenes that are not verbal on stage. So for instance, there might be dialogue on stage, and there might be, if you're watching Shakespeare, there might be a fighting scene, and the audio descriptor would describe the scene. So a person would be wearing headsets. And when the, the fencing scene would, would, well, presented itself on stage, the audio describer would be describing the scene. Are they freestanding headsets? Or they need to be I believe from the description that I've read, they are actually headsets that they wear. So they're hearing... So, you know, they're connected? Do they have to be connected to... Oh, no, they'd be wireless. They would be wireless, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I've used I them before in and other wireless, places. Right? Yeah. Are they good? They're amazing. It okay. makes, um, I said this before and I'll say it again, it makes night and day difference yes. in knowing mm -hmm. what's, and I've also used um, uh, DVDs and yeah. videotapes yeah. of audio described movies. Yep. Unbelievable difference right. in enjoyment and knowing what's going on. I have. Really great. I had also read in regards to movies, now again, the Academy is not really presenting movies any longer, so mm -hmm. I focused um, uh, on stage practice. But I had read that two years ago, uh, fr coming from the Attorney General's office, that they, they, there was a bill that was passed that required the um, venues such as Cinemark to have audio descriptors. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't know that. Well, they don't. Well, I, I wonder if they do, but you have to ask I, for them. Yeah, I will, um, and they also were supposed to hand out 200 complimentary tickets huh. to um, those that you know, required, to build an audience, to those that required uh, dis descriptors. Okay. I can find that site again. And um, email it to someone. Email it to Patty. Yeah, okay. Could you have a card that I could take yeah. with me? Yeah. And, 
Okay, so I I am learning as I go along. <laughs> but that I, I thought you guys would be interested in that. Yeah, that's right? okay. Yes. Uh, it's had Tori knows. Yes. To know about that stuff. Yes. I'm not into that. So, so. Uh, in regards to the stage staging though, and and implementing an audio descriptor for this area would require a soundproof booth because that's where the audio descriptor mm -hmm remains during the show, off to the side, and, and then the headsets, and, and then the company would have to pay for the describer. Mm -hmm. There are, not to my knowledge, and not that I could find, any audio describers in this area. Hmm. I, mm -hmm. again, I'm saying that from what I have researched, that right now this is new, and this is happening in the cities because they have access. To, thank you, thank you, Patty. They have access to audio describers, and they have resources. And they're probably sharing the resources. And they're probably sharing the you know the pool of audio describers that they have. And there's probably not that many that have the training mm -hmm. at this point. Mm -hmm. So have you talked with the mayor's office? I haven't yet, no. You're the first that I'm sharing this knowledge with. <laughs> mm -hmm. And there are testimonials. There are some other sites, that mm -hmm. links that I can send you to. They, they have an audio describer's site. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And that's where I found out about the um, organizations. They have a listing of who in the, around the country ha is implementing audio description on their stage. Um, I imagine if um, a larger venue, like the Fine Arts Center mm. or Springfield Symphony, would initiate something like this. Mm -hmm. This is my, you know, what I would imagine would happen once a large institution came up, then we could share the resources, share the booths, share the mm -hmm. audio describers, mm -hmm. and et cetera. So there would be sort of a, a collaboration of, of resources, uh -huh. you know, pulling of resources, particularly in our area where um, there are not as many venues as mm -hmm. there are out in Boston or New York, or et cetera. Mm -hmm. Offstage, correct, and a soundproof. <coughs> well, they would be in a, in a probably in a, in a booth where they could see the action on stage, but w not visible to the audience. Well, um, you wouldn't want the audience to see the audio describer. Oh, okay. So an audio describer is not using sound um, sign language. They're verbally describing the scene oh. through headsets, oh. through a microphone, mm -hmm. through headsets. Yeah. For, yeah. Oh. For visually impaired. That's a different, yeah, mm -hmm. that, a sign language interpreter, that'd be different. Of course, you would want to there, see that person. Mm -hmm. Right, and there are sign, there yeah. are those that mm -hmm. sign in our area, but not, we and that helps with the hearing also for people who are hearing impaired? I imagine it would. Yeah, I would think Sorry, so. Yeah. Wait, what would? Having the audio. But, uh, having an audio to describe her? Oh, my. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know because. That would be an influence. I've been deaf if you're something like that. If you're, if if you're, if you're, well, it'll be, it sounds to me like there would be like, at least two things going on. So you always have to um, get uh, American Sign Language interpreters to like do meetings like this, and then will we need um, the a, other an uh, audio describer an audio for describer. for visually impaired? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, an audio describer would be for visually impaired, and then a sign language interpreter would be for right. hearing impaired. I would think that those would be perhaps complementary, but different. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. they're yeah. different needs. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. It just sounds like there's yeah. a whole wealth of new jobs opening up for people. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. good point. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a great I mean, job I, for someone who likes to. Impaired, I don't need somebody to do sign language. You just need to have the right type of equipment. Mm -hmm. right. Now, I was at the literacy function, mm -hmm. and we had the front seats, 
Oh, and fine. we were okay. I was away from the big um, The speakers? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, it would have blown me right out of there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, that's the problem, okay, because some people, yes, are deaf, but some are definitely have hearing problems. So doing sign language, to me, is not going to solve my problem. It's the type of equipment that should be installed in there. So people who are hearing impaired, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. have the right type of equipment. Mm -hmm. Yep. But you also want to think about the deaf as well. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And a deaf person would need, totally profoundly deaf, would need a sign language interpreter. Correct. Right, mm -hmm. but you yeah. wouldn't. No. Well, I used to use them all the time. Well, but people need like different you don't need it anymore. No. No. People, people need different things. Yeah. So, well, it's a new yeah. thing to learn for you. Yeah. Now, it's... Uh, I've been an interpreter. You know no. Now, is there a lot of people using the cochlear? The some like it, some don't. Yeah. There's a lot of people that use it, and a lot of people that have had it that have had it taken out. There's other people that love it. And other people who it's just don't It's just want like it. everything else, you know? Yeah. Mm. She got hearing aids. A lot of people, myself included, got hearing aids and tossed them. Mm -hmm. uh, other people love hearing aids, you know? Well, I wouldn't it's, toss mine at some yeah, round and five on trick. I don't mean toss it literally. I just mean yeah. don't use them, you yeah. know? That was just a way of saying it. Right. There's a lot of people yeah. who don't. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there, there's a lot of people who need different things and just either are embarrassed to be seen in public using assistive devices or just don't want to. It's mm -hmm. just the way it is. Yeah, you know? My mother was like, my mother had hearing aids when she first got the hearing aid. She didn't like, she was, yeah. you know, right? So, and she couldn't hear anybody and mm -hmm. it was getting all mixed up. Okay, so, Deborah, did you have anything else you wanted to share with us? Yeah. Let's keep on um, track. No, that, that's, I, I will, I will um, forward the links that I found that mm -hmm. you might find helpful. Thank you. Um, for this information, mm -hmm. um, and I believe I had gone over um, hearing the last time that I was here. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Okay. Thank no, you. thank you for yeah, having me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I she will um, stay it's abreast of this <laughs> and um, maybe even follow up with one of the theaters out in Boston and mm -hmm. to find out exactly mm -hmm. how they initiated mm -hmm. um, audio descriptors. That'd be wonderful. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much. Thank you yeah. so much. Because it's a city <coughs> building and we're fully responsible of that building, you should go and talk to our mayor. Okay. You know, I would like to know how much, how expensive is it too? Well, um, I had addressed it's this. Yeah, yeah, it I had expensive. addressed this, and it would be this, it would be the yeah. same situation for audio describers as it would be for um, to hire uh, um, somebody Science. for sign language, mm -hmm. um, etc. Uh, the audio describers would be the expense of the community organization putting on the show. So, and they're paid by the hour. So I imagine they would be somewhere around twenty-five to fifty dollars an hour or more, and you, and it's required from my what I had read. They need to come to at least four rehearsals. So you're mm -hmm. talking uh -huh. close to a thousand dollars, yeah, for yeah. them to. So sharing resources would definitely be yeah. a good option to explore. Mm -hmm. And you know, and working with the city. Because of it being a city building, just like we're doing the renovations, because mm -hmm. it is of historical preservation, this is a need. Times are changing. So mm -hmm. I would highly suggest you go into the mayor's office, mm -hmm. talk to Joe Cook, our procurement officer. There might be grants out there. Okay, thank you. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Great. Yeah, yeah thanks so much. Thank you. We can do as a committee to reinforce anything um, that the Academy would want to do to move forward with anything that would assist disabled. Let us know. Be thank glad you. To help. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you Deborah. Thank, thank you for thank coming you. back. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, public comment is next. Do we have any members of mm -hmm. the public here? Yes. Joyce, Joyce Small. Oh, That's did you? Yes, have Joyce. A question after sure. Any is familiar with a service dog or a person who has epileptic uh, condition? I'd appreciate getting some information back for that person who's not able to be here. 
Um, so can you say that again? Yes. Thank you. I know the Lions, I, different chapters of the Lions do it. All A lot of those organizations are the ones that actually I do have, fundraising. Such. I have a lot of information, yeah. too. My doctor wanted me to get a service dog, and I've got brochures and phone numbers and stuff like that that might help. Mm -hmm. I don't have them with me, but so um, maybe you two I can get maybe, them to you. Maybe you two could after connect meeting. after the meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So the next item is the um, on the agenda is... Purchase of the audio system mm -hmm. for the Commission on Disabilities. Yes. So I will you, report on that. Um, I will say, uh, Mary Ann and I going back and forth with um, Joe Cook, and Ruth, you got some information from Joe Blumenthal. Well, anyway, um, the audio system, the um, treasurer's office will be ordering those for us because they maintain the credit card uh, for the city. So um, I have sent them the information for them to order our audio system. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's coming from a variety of website um, businesses. Um, that Al Williams uh, mm -hmm. from the uh, Community Access uh, Station, the Northampton Station, he really assisted us quite a bit to put things together in terms of what would be needed to make um, a great sound system for our meetings. Mm -hmm. He's fantastic, and mm -hmm. our procurement officer, Joe Cook, mm -hmm. thank you to him. He has spent a lengthy time um, directing Patty and I in the right direction to go to, working very closely with Alan from NCTV, so I think we're going to have a great system. That's good. Uh, wonderful. Uh, yeah. That's great. Okay. Um, discussion on a conference sponsored by the COD, presented by Ruth McGraw. Pass these out, except I'm not very flexible right now, so I'm just gonna. What is it, Ruth? So, um, it's the fair that we talked about doing. Gee. Yeah, well, what's this? Oh, okay. uh, this is just a background on some stuff that I put together. Okay, um, I've worked on several of these. Uh, I worked on Washington, one in Washington when I lived in DC. I chaired that when we had over 200 vendors at that one. Uh, I worked on one in Enfield when I lived in Enfield, um, which only had about 55 vendors. Excuse me. So what I did was we talked about it. We voted on having it. Mm -hmm. um, I put this together from my notes. It's just a real quick idea of some of the things that have to be done so you can get an idea how much work there is involved in something like this. A lot. There's yeah. always a lot of work on these things. And <laughs> since... We, I had talked to Pat, we had talked here, and then yeah. Patty got with me, and we got some dates which have all gone by, yeah. except the two August ones, and that's obviously way too yeah. soon. Mm -hmm. So um, when I put this together, my thought was we might want to schedule this for next year. Absolutely. And that makes good that, sense. Yeah, absolutely. Because even just, and, and I've been collecting information as we go, even like the health and safety fair that Patty mm -hmm. had, mm -hmm. a lot of those vendors might be interested. Sure. Um, you know, we don't have to stick local either. We can get vendors from all over the state that are yeah. more disability oriented. Sure. You know, um, there's so many things we can do with this. Um, we can even have a little area where they do demonstrations, how to use a TTY or how to use the new phones that have replaced the old-fashioned TTYs, which I just got. It's mm -hmm. coming soon, and it's wonderful. You got the Mom's video phone? I got the one where you read the text. Mm -hmm. While you talk on the phone, I've got Skype on my computers, but a lot of people don't have that. Mm -hmm. But with the, this phone, no matter who calls me, um, it goes through and it's it kind of like interprets. It looks like captioning on a TV. Oh, so oh, I can neat. read it. And my I got my mom one too. This came out of the health and safety fair here. There's um, so many things, and there's so yep. many. I went to um, one focusing on um, visual disabilities. A few weeks ago a technology fair and there's so many 
interesting things that we could think of. So it'd be great to have some time to spend. Um, we might want to spend some time in future meetings just brainstorming about who we want to have and um, stuff like that. Would we want to do this hypothetically in May or June when we know the weather's going to be okay? Yeah, because you got people that are going to want to uh -huh. come in from out of town. They're going to want to stay yeah. in hotels. They've got to travel. Yeah. So you want to think about traveling conditions. Yeah, exactly. Uh, things like that. You want to think about what mm -hmm. else is going on in town so hotel rooms won't be all booked. Right. You know, yeah. if there's yeah, anything else that, big going on. So it might be a little hard with uh, graduations. Right. Right. Graduations. Graduations. Yeah, the graduations are all in May. May. Except May. for the high Colleges. school, which is the first Sunday in June. Yeah. That's it. The Colleges. last ones. Colleges are They're done. They're done in May. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yep. Patty. Patty. So maybe um, June. This. Yeah, I think June, before the summer. It says finances on it, pay for custodian setup and cleanup, other charges. Now, they would also have to pay for space. Correct? I was going to ask about that. Oh, the, the yeah. booths? The, the the booths. booths. I, I would assume there would be a charge. Oh, yeah, I would yeah. think so. Because that, yeah. so. yeah. that helps to pay for. This is yeah, by no way, need, yeah. this is by no way total or yeah. conclusive. This yeah, is just okay. a few notes. To give everybody an idea of, but this is real, real basic, not fleshed yeah. out. This is very, very little. I mean, um, mm -hmm. you know, this, this is like finances. This just has a little tiny bit of finances. Mm -hmm. But you'd want to have two or three people focusing just on the financial aspect. Mm -hmm. um, advertising, there's tons of places you can advertise. Yeah. I only named a few, just just a very few, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I just pulled some stuff out of old notes that I had from the other two that we did just to give, because I don't imagine, you know, a lot of you have ever done anything like this before uh -huh. from scratch. Never. So this will give you like at this. least an idea. We don't even have a name for it mm -hmm. yet. You know, we have to come yeah. up with a name yeah, first. Just in the beginning of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, this was just to give you an idea. Yeah. And, and Why don't, you I'll know. take a look at this when I get home with my machine. Yeah. Why don't we plan to, um, I think we need to plan to devote <laughs> Mm -hmm. several meetings to fleshing this out. Before yeah. we even start inviting people yeah. or anything like that. Well, we, have yeah. to, we need a date. Yeah. A, date. a date needs to be secured Time. first. Yeah. And a place so, to have it. Yeah, and then so. we can start pursuing vendors. Right. So can I just say these dates you and I talked about a long time ago? Oh, yeah. So are you talking about this year? No, this? Next, oh, year. Next, next year. Next year. So what dates are on here for next year? <laughs> I don't think these are for next no, year. No, these are for <laughs> this year. Oh, okay. Nothing yeah, we okay. started talking about this right. in this committee back in May, I, remember, I think. Yeah. So I, at that time, Patty had given me these dates for July and August. Yeah. But at this point, no. we could Do we possibly... Want to maybe put it as a major agenda item for the July meeting to spend yeah. time... Flushing yeah. that out and yes, move absolutely. on now because yep. um, oops yeah Hi. that'll give are people, you going by okay that'll give people time to think about it so <laughs> why don't we up. excuse me why don't we put that as a major agenda item that we're going to spend a significant amount of time on for Stand next up. month today. okay. Okay. I won't. Sure, no problem. All set. If there's any information or anything that anybody wants me to pull together before next month. Say it again. If there's any information or anything that anybody wants me to pull together before next month. I'll look at this. And, you know, I'll look moments. at this. Sure. Okay. And yeah, I've been definitely. collecting lists of possible places to invite from uh -huh. all different places. Yeah. So Yeah, um, I just I mean I just went to something similar, so I'm gonna try to think of I'll think try to think of ideas too of um things that I found interesting that might you know, that maybe we could mm -hmm. people would yeah. think about. So I mean even the state. I have a lady from the from the state coming okay. into my house just to help me with mobility issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know Okay. Yeah. So let's you could plan. tap her and Okay, too. so let's plan let's okay. plan that for a major agenda item that we're going to spend a significant amount of time on for the July meeting, and Can let's I ask move on when now. That is the July You're meeting, right. just it's because vacation. The third. I know. What is the date on that? The sixteenth. Is it the sixteenth? No, I think the sixteenth is. I don't know. It is the sixteenth of July. Okay, that yeah. should work. So, okay. Um, All right, so we'll move on now. Um, and the next item is the, um, it says City Hall Sidewalk. Yeah. And is That's that still yes, pretty bad. 
Well, um, <laughs> the committee signed, the commission signed a letter going to the mayor, central services, and also the uh, Ned Huntley at the DPW. I received a letter, uh, an email back from Ned Huntley, and they are going to uh, pursue it. Good. So, Good. Um, you know, it doesn't happen mm -hmm. in a couple days, yeah. but it's, mm -hmm. it's on the, the agenda, and I think you'll um, obviously notice a big difference because... It's There's a valid. lot of uh, yeah. issue mm -hmm. with the sidewalk. Yeah. yeah. So, that's so great. that's the update on that. That's, oh, that's great. great. Um, are there any other announcements? Uh, I have one announcement. Okay. Um, and also, um, I know yeah, Mike and uh, Cynthia have something they want to say. Okay. On, mm -hmm. on let me find my notes. Give me a moment. Right here. On September 26th, from 9 to 1 here at the Senior Center. There's going to be a training. Um, you've heard some discussion before. Um, Council Lobarge had mentioned this, you know, about training people on working with uh, the disabled. Um, and so on September 26, 9 to 1, there's going to be, it's called public accommodation training. It's and it's for city employees? It's for city employees, committee on disability. Right, because uh, my sorry. email I got said that okay. it was for city employees. City employees, and com this commission's invited, and right. then um, yeah, other um, employees from other uh, uh, towns or cities would be invited yeah. too. Mm -hmm. And Maya, which is the city's um, insurance mm -hmm. provider, um, they're the ones who are finding the speaker and uh, she originally i had heard about this last december but i couldn't get into the training it was up in pittsfield so it's a wonderful mm -hmm. listing of everything that will be okay. done mm -hmm. that's great and um, where is it it's going to be here oh, right okay. at the senior center in the great room oh that's great um yeah. mm -hmm. i will make an effort yeah yeah it should be very good yeah. okay yeah all right um and so glenda is handling and glenda's this? working with glenda stoddard from human resources mm -hmm. september 26 yes, yes. Nine yeah. to one, nine okay to one. so two other people had yeah. um announcements mike you had something i did um oh well i just have actually yeah you can pass it along Yeah, just grab it. And it says a braille and large print menu is well, available. What it is is just this is no, give it to me. Okay. Um, I'm just just hoping that everybody would. Want to pass? I'll pass it. Well, that's what I wanted to. Michael, can you say what it is can loudly? Can you I didn't say catch what it, it is for those of us that... Michael. What is it? It is just, uh, what I am recommending, that we make a small sign with that on it and have the sign have kind of recognizable colors and be attached to uh, areas on the front door of I think it's a great yeah, idea because right. nobody's going to have a clue. Definitely. It has to be bigger than this, though. Yes. Well, okay. No, I, 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 that's <laughs> I don't what we have to says. decide on then. Is just okay. How big of a type, what colors do we want? Mm -hmm. And Black and white. Something like this. Seriously? Okay. Most people, mo I don't know. Most people, from what I've seen, myself included, it's either white on black or black on white is the best way to see it if you're visually impaired. Okay. And actually, for my husband, who's not visually impaired but forgets his glasses, he'd probably need it at least this size. Well, so yeah. what we need to yeah. do then is have to go and say, what part of what I want to do uh -huh. is make it really recognize. Wait a minute. Yep. So that when okay. people come into a place and oh, see okay. on the door, they know what it says just by looking at it. Yep. Okay, we're sorry. Is this about, I'm sorry, I was going to ask Is this about the Braille the menus? Signs? Yeah, there's already um, a, like a, a small no, that's okay. um, the one with the chair. Yeah. Oh. Laminated um, sign that's going in all those uh, restaurants that have them. Which ones? Yeah. The ones the that yeah. all of them. Oh. Right. What are the ones that are oh, now? I can't turn. They don't, there's nothing. They don't have anything to, um, uh, to get turn for people to know that. 
I'll wait. Yeah. Here, Tori, have my seat. Oh, yeah. no, I've got a chair coming back. Susan, have a seat. I'll just grab the bench. All right. Okay. So, where were we talking about the signs for so, the restaurants? I think that's a great idea. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I do too. So, you already have them? I don't have them physically. Um, Lola, um, <coughs> Lola from the bid. Mm -hmm. They're, they're like this, they're laminated, white white? they're black and white. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they Is it at least just a size print? It's bigger than okay, that. Okay, perfect. That's you great. Pass that back. Yeah. This was brought up I guess Michael, pass that at one of our meetings, if you can recall, so. where Patty was Am taking I care of that. Yeah, I know. Uh, let's pass it around to everybody. I guess. Cindy, did you have something else, or were you sharing the announcement with Mike is back? Cindy, did you have another announcement? Uh, yes, I have oh. two things that I'd like to point out. Okay. Um, I was at the annual health and safety fair, mm -hmm. and we had this uh, sign there and the flyer about uh, the Braille and large print, and it, I, it got a lot of wonderful Good. Uh, comments uh, mm -hmm. from it. And a couple of people talked about um, having the lighting a little bit better, too, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. that also interferes mm -hmm. with their reading ability. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. A lot of people bring flashlights now yeah. to their yeah. restaurant. Yep. Yeah. Now, can I ask a question relative to this? I was at Mama Iguana's recently, and I was really tempted to ask if they had a large print menu. When do you they suppose? Do. But nobody gave us the okay to start asking. Last time, we were told not to no, ask I, until no, we were told. I, 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 I don't heard that. I hadn't heard anyone say that. Really? You yeah. can ask. I, I thought, I don't know why I thought that. No, Mama Iguana's has both nope. large print and um, I know, and, I know, uh, the few of yeah, large the others, yeah. too. So feel, feel free to ask. Yeah. Because I, I, I go into restaurants, not that I go to a whole bunch of restaurants yeah, downtown, yeah. but um, mm -hmm. I always say, oh, do you have a large print menu? Huh. Just so that it like rings yeah. a bell. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So maybe Susan, yeah. when you go in, just say to them. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to. Totally. Hey, I'm yeah. on the Commission on Disabilities, and yeah. mm -hmm. we have our menus. Um, yep. They should initiate it, asking people. Yeah, I think Cindy, I'm going did you have to. Some, yeah. Did okay. you have another, did you have something else? Yeah. Well, um... There were also several com uh, comments about the benches, yeah. or the benches that we don't have on Main Street. <coughs> they're there now. They are, they're oh, they'll back. be back, yeah. yeah they are oh, back. Yeah. Okay. That shows you how much I go on Main Street. <laughs> yeah, okay. they are back. Good, because a lot of people that had walking uh, problems oh, yeah. depended on that. Yep. The mm -hmm. benches. Absolutely. Because they still like to enjoy Main Yep. Right. That was a that was a major comment um, and one of the factors that was considered in mm -hmm. putting it right. back. And the yeah. counselors got right on that because the oh, yeah. were True. notified of that happening. That was insanity. So we basically. spoke out in regards to yeah. sidewalks yeah. are vibrant. Sidewalks mm -hmm. are to be used by everybody. Yeah. Yep. Sidewalks mm -hmm. are to be used so you can have benches. Yep. yep. People can oh, socialize. Yeah. Yep. And people who are elderly have the ability to go ahead and be able to sit and rest yep. and like with gay when she shops we go to faces two floors when we come up there she's tired the yep. bench is there right and that's it's great for yep. anybody who wants to use it yep. all families all yep. diversity to use totally it. <laughs> bid in the mayor the mayor, the mayor made the decision to remove them for a trial basis what? and there was under enough room under the bid mm -hmm. Because I guess my my what I heard was that kids were just hanging out basically yes. on the benches, and it, if they got rid of the benches, they'd get rid of the kids hanging and out. And some of the business owners complained. Yeah, mm -hmm. but in in essence, it kind of made it tough for everybody else. But so they're back. They're back. All they're is well. Back. Yep. <laughs> okay. Next. So there. Um, the benches are back. So are there any other announcements, or would someone like to make a motion to adjourn? Well, to adjourn. Oh, okay. Danny, okay. Danny, okay. Danny, two more first. things and then. Oh, okay. um, uh, in February, there was an article in the Recorder, that's the Greenfield paper, about a man who um, 
who my friend knew of the um, Vernon study, that went to, uh, to uh, Center in Florida. Yes, no, that's no. Thank you. Um, and got this experimental injection that improved um, his, his abilities to move. Mm -hmm. He had a stroke several years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, um, the drug is called uh, Enbro. And it is only um, accepted by insurance for a very limited um, um, situation. Okay. One that Thank they you. do take, that they um, do let the patients have it mm -hmm. by insurance is rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. And there is an ad on TV um, that they promote um, mm -hmm. that me medication with um, off star. Mm -hmm. But um, during that time, um, the wonderful results that mm. happened to him, a lot of them were not permanent. Oh, uh-huh. And uh, they had wanted uh, to have another injection, but it was outrageously expensive, mm -hmm. like $4,000, mm -hmm. and then you have to go down there, mm -hmm. and, and so forth. And um, also, I asked my uh, doctor, my uh, um, sports and spine doctor uh, in Pioneer, um, and he was very leery to give that out to any of his right. patients because there's some really bad side effects, including uh, infections. It get, it um, really gets your immune system <coughs> right. in a very vulnerable way. So it's definitely something to carefully check out. Yes. Okay. So, but I thought. It would be um, something that I thought all of you would, would uh, like to be aware of. Okay, thank Great, you. Thanks. All right, and Dan? Then, yeah. You had something to say? I just wanted to say that I've been working on a project the last two and a half years, and it's going to go to conclusion next. But if everything goes well, I may have to unfortunately cut back on my attendance at this room. Okay. So, so Dan's been working yep. on a project for about two and a half mm -hmm. years now, yeah. and you, you're yeah. almost ready to... I forget the food. Got it. Okay. Okay. So, Dean, are you still interested? Because you put in an application for the um, commission, you're still interested in that? Yeah. In, in, okay. Because it's over. It's with the mayor. Okay. Okay. Uh, because of what uh, Dan's working on, it may mean he has to cut back. And I just asked him if he was still interested in serving on the commission, mm -hmm. and he said uh, yes. Okay. okay. And well, he, he does have an application. Yes, okay. on what? Attendance. On everything he's on the attendance yeah. here. Well, we'll take that so not affecting his meeting. Right. Yes. We'll we'll take yes. that as it would yes. affect his meeting. We'll huh? take that yes. as it comes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I think I think you need to know whether you're going to have to whether you'll be cutting back or not. So yeah. The and that's important. Yeah. yeah. If you if you do but, need to, then you can let us know and make a decision about whether yeah. it makes sense right. to continue yeah. to be on. Well, when you know for sure. When you know for sure, we can yeah. have a conversation well, about yeah. it. So at All some right. point, Dan, do you let us know what you're working on? Okay, thank you. All right, I'm Thanks. curious. Motion to adjourn? Second. Uh, or no, I, I'm asking if somebody wanted to make one. Oh. I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Okay. Thank you. Great. We'll thank see you, everybody. Everybody.